That reminds me of an incredible, the most incredible story I've ever, I've ever heard. Can well, I relate be it? good. It's about poo. If it's the best story ever told, it I is... think Jesus will have something to say about it if it is. No, when they hear this... to knock him off the top spot. When they near, hear this, they're going to have to replace certain passages of the Bible because this right. is an incredible story. Uh, a friend of mine told it to me who had been on uh, a gap year and uh, at one night uh, they all got drunk. It was just her and a load of girls. One night in Devon? One night in Devon, one night. Uh, they, no, they were in Thailand or somewhere like that. They got drunk and the question came up, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? And this girl called Kate related the following story, which is without Is Kate help. her real name? Or yes, it no, it is her real oh, right. name. Okay, fair if, if she can... I've spoken to her once... No, I didn't speak to her, but it's been confirmed that this story is true because I needed to know more information. Kate uh, had been at school with this uh, guy for years and they really, really fancied each other, but they'd never got it together. They were the couple that should have got together but never did. Uh, I don't know what his name was. Let's call him Sebastian. Okay, so anyway, Seb. Seb. So uh, it comes to their sort of leaving ball... And their friends are saying, oh, you finally got it. You're clearly both in love with each other and have been for years. Why don't you just get together? So they made an agreement that they'd go to the ball together, get really, really drunk, uh, and then see where things went. Now, they get very drunk. They hook up. It's quite the chat of the school. Everyone's really excited. They go back to Seb's place. She's never been there before. Um, and they spend the night together, and it's wonderful. And they're... Exactly. But it's, it's not just sexy, it's really sweet, because they've finally realised... It's love-making, John. They're going to be together forever, because they've loved each other from afar. So anyway, Seb pops out for work in the morning and says, I'll stay as long as you want. And, Have some uh, toast. We'll, we'll meet up tonight. I'm really glad things have worked out. This is going to be great. And they kind of kiss and say goodbye. Seb leaves. Kate now takes the opportunity to go to the toilet. Right. She goes, First thing you do in a new house. She goes to the toilet and does what can only be described as incredibly large poo. Now, this is embarrassing for a girl. Guys are kind of cool with this, but she gets she panics because it won't flush. Now, at this point, there are a series of options you've got. For reasons unknown to me, she, out of the corner of her eye, spies the bathroom bin and see it's lined, sees it's lined with a, a, a plastic bag. Sensible. So I can understand her logic. She wants to get this poo as far away as possible from Seb's house because she doesn't want him to find out that, she, you know... She defecates. Basically. She's exactly. been playing she's a sprite. So she wants, and I can understand this, she wants to get, she, get the poo and put it in a public bin thousands of miles away. <laughs> it's so a she, great game. She fishes out the poo in the bag, right? And, so, and and I'm thinking, well, watch someone walks in and sees her carrying a bag of poo. So she walks out and thinks, right, I've got to get out of here as soon as possible in case someone comes back. So she gathers all her, she puts the poo down, gathers all her stuff together, sees a notepad by the door and just writes on it a little note saying, oh, Seb, uh, it's just Kate. I'm so glad we've got together. I'm really looking forward to seeing to you tonight. Puts the note seeing down. Seeing to you. Puts the note down, walks out the door, and as she hears the door click she realises she's left a poo in a bag next to a note saying, I'm so glad we got together and cannot oh! get access back to the flat. She cannot get in. Right. She's just stood outside the door and has left a, a poo in a bag in a man's <laughs> house who she loves. Oh, dear. So the lesson from this story is never sleep with anyone or go to the toilet. But the, Exactly. <laughs> or never do the same in both in the same yeah, 12 hours. Just, just split those two apart. So if you got to the toilet in the morning, just know you can't sleep with anyone for the rest of the day. But I forced, when um, my friend told me that story, I forced her to ring the person and find out what happened because I was quite involved by the love interest because they were destined to be together and they can't have been stopped that relationship can't have been stopped in its tracks by a poo in a bag but um apparently they never saw each other ever again